So let's talk about damage and abuse. There's no place for it in a business that's trying to be lean. Here's a barge, one of a number that we have in the fleet. And this barge has been seriously dented as a result of damage or abuse. When it's laden, it weighs more. And if it comes into contact with another vessel or a wall or a structure, not only does it damage the vessel, but it may well damage the ancient structure that it's come into contact with. And it's our responsibility not to damage the environment in which we work. And I want to look more carefully at this because the damage is very clear to see. If we look here, this should be a lovely radius. This whole side has been bent in as a result of extreme abuse and damage. There's more than 60 millimetres of denting as a result of super lows that have been imposed on this item. And this is an asset of the companies and we have embedded carbon in it. We need to keep it working as long as we possibly can. There is no way that damage like this has a place in our business. So I'm here with Tom in the workshop and we're going to look about wastage in terms of damage and neglect and our responsibility to look after our equipment properly to give us the optimum working life and get the most out of the carbon that's locked in this machine. So Tom, what are you doing today? So I'm doing a front end rebuild on this cat, taking this pin out and what, 400 hours? Look, the wear on that, it hasn't been greased. Really, pin should last longer than that. So here's the point, this pin covered in grooves and damaged and technically working towards being unsafe is simply because grease hasn't been applied into this unit by the operator. This has been on, out on hire to a third party user and sent back with no grease in it. And these parts have come from Japan in order for us to repair it at just 400 hours of service. It's nearly new. So what are we doing about that wastage and how are we going to attack it? Dave here, Dave's going to explain his new role in our business, transiting from workshop manager to a new role, looking at how we're going to educate people to attack wastage. Part of my new role and job description will be go out, to go out and educate the site managers and operatives on the use of equipment and how to grease it and look after kit better because the cost of the front end kit alone now is roughly about two and a half grand for the machine we've just looked at and as long if I can get that message through and machines come back in better nick, all the better for the business. So part of damage and neglect is about how we return equipment. Here's an example of an aerator and these are used to put oxygen in the water while we're working to keep the fish alive. And this aerator has been returned back to the yard inside one of the hopper barges, not strapped down, not notified that it was coming. And as a result of the movement while it's been on the lorry, which is a danger in itself, the casing's damaged and the cables are damaged. A completely avoidable piece of wastage. So this is a truck saw amphibious weed harvester and we use these to cut weed to maintain flow so that floodwaters can pass through the catchment to the sea. And one of these has just come back from another hire from a third party customer. And sometimes it has this harvester on and after that it has a collecting basket that's used which you can see on the back of this unit that's used to collect the weed so it can be removed from the water course. Here is an example of a collecting back basket off a truck saw that's come back with extensive damage as you can see and we had no notification of this one coming back off hire. So let's talk about damage and damage notification. If something's been damaged, it's everybody's responsibility to own up and report it. When stuff comes back into the depot and nobody knows it's damaged, we have delays in sourcing parts, equipment and resources to rectify the damage. If we know in advance, we can prepare the spare parts, turn that machine around quicker and get it back out to work. And the embedded carbon in that machine is used more effectively. It's such a waste if we don't know there's damage because we can't respond quick enough. Please drive out the waste.